these birds are from the Amazon. Ugh. We are bringing the birds, you guys. You're about to see these amazing birds, so let's do it. Likely you won't be able to hold them that much either. And All right, you guys, welcome back here to the ranch, Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. If you guys are new here, my name is Blake. I'm the owner of Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. This place is Noah's Ark. It's my place that I call home, and a lot, a lot of different animals live here. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel right now. So many of you guys probably clicked this video today because you want to see me build a massive enclosure for these new birds that I got here at the ranch. Here on the ranch already, I have three Quakers and I have one Eclectus female named Lexi. But today, we required four new types of birds. I'm not gonna tell you what we got yet, but we have a massive enclosure right here. It has two sides. It's just a temporary enclosure because the reason why I got these birds, these birds are from the Amazon. They're from South America. These birds, are gonna be ending up going inside the capybara area or the redfoot enclosure because many of my enclosures here, if you guys been following me along, um, they're just normal enclosures. They have big fences around it. But now what I've been thinking, I wanna coexist a lot of different types of animals with all the enclosures. So animals that revolve around each other in the wild, I wanna do that. So I'm gonna have animals up top in the sky, up down to the bottom, in the middle. I want animals to fill up the whole enclosure, happy, uh, big enclosure, things of that sort. Back to the point of, so I got these birds. These birds are gonna stay inside this enclosure. They've been living here for the last few years without a problem. They are breeders. They um, will make babies and they will have babies in the future. But um, they're gonna be end up going inside probably the capybara enclosure. You guys have seen that enclosure, it is massive. So they're gonna be going into a big upgrade. They can climb into the trees, they can fly, they can do what they want. So it's gonna be a very, very awesome ending for these birds here at the ranch. So yeah, let's get going. Let's set up this cage inside of the patio for right now. Pretty much the same environment where they were at before, just down the road. I picked them up from a buddy of mine. I purchased them from him. And uh, yeah, so let's do it. The birds are already here. I'm not gonna show you what birds are until maybe the middle, maybe the end. I'm not sure, let's figure it out. But uh, let's build this cage. Ugh. All right, that wasn't too bad. All right, so this is one of the sides. So let's get this bad boy inside of the patio. Blah! I'm just gonna go right there for right now. And it's pretty easy. I took this whole thing apart probably maybe two and a half hours ago, put it on my truck, got the birds, brought it to the house. And yeah, those are my two Quakers I have there, a blue and a green one. And I also have an albino female that is right there. She's gorgeous. She's actually gonna get paired up with an orange Quaker coming soon. And then we have Lexi over there inside of an enclosure. I've had her for almost 12 years now and which is pretty awesome. But uh, let's fast forward this a little bit, get all these pieces in here, and start drilling this thing together. you guys so all the stuff is out of the truck we just cleaned the whole thing well I did it my buddy Damien and my dad actually came, cleaned it all while I was doing some other stuff in the back but uh, I know how to build it back together so what we're gonna do is I pretty much have it all here ready to go now we just got to screw it all back together and then uh, bring the birds and I'll show you guys these birds they're actually I think I already said that they're inside the house they're just hanging out but um yeah Damien's right there look he's working hard oh yeah good job Damien <laughs> But uh, yeah, let's start putting this thing together and do it. Let's do it. Hey, I'm inside the cage. I'm lying. Well, yeah, so we pretty much have one, two, three pieces inside. We got the divider inside the miller already. Just got to get the top on. This is for a nesting. These are for nesting boxes, spots right here. Uh, these birds are of age to start breeding. So that is A1 here on the ranch. We like all the animals to breed here on the ranch because you got to have a Noah's Ark. Never know what could happen out in the future. So we have two established colonies of these birds here on the ranch. These birds, have you guys said them in the comments yet? So they're from South America. One is 
all green with a little yellow thing on his forehead right here. What is that bird? Put in the comments, start blowing it up. Person that says it right, give that person a thumbs up on their like. Second bird, I had this way back in the day. There's a little blue one in the front with red and yellow parts on the part of the wing right here. Really amazing bird, I actually had this way back in the day. But uh, unfortunately, it came from a really bad breeder and it had a liver disease and it passed away. And they replaced that bird with Lexi that I have right there. That was really heartbreaking to me because I was a really young age at that time. And um, it was very uh, hard for me to understand um, animals passing away and things of that sort. Let's finish this cage and then I'm going to show you guys these beautiful birds. Hey, buddy. So, yeah, you guys are just about done. We got to get the bottom. One more roof side, uh, add in their perches, and obviously, if you guys see, I know it looks like, ew, that's nasty, it's not sticks, but these birds will destroy everything. Once they move outside, I will get them a nice oak branch or things of that sort, and I'll add some toys and things of that sort in here as well, um, but they are breeding pairs, so they bond to each other, and they're happy to be just with each other. One good thing about them is that they are on a Missouri diet, so that's a plus one for me, because I use a lot of Missouri here on the ranch, so that's really, really good, but, um, we're almost done, and you guys will be able to see these birds in just a sec. All right, you guys, so the cages are done. We got two PVC perchers on both sides. We are definitely gonna add some branches. In the upcoming video, you guys will definitely see toys and things of that sort in there, so they have um, little, uh, what's that called, enrichment toys to be with, just like all my other birds and stuff of that sort. Uh, water bowls and food are about to be inside of here right now and we are bringing the birds you guys You're about to see these amazing birds. So let's do it So these two right here you guys are the first pair I'm introducing you guys and this is a Eight-year-old pair of yellow nape Amazon So I'm pretty sure the one to the left is the male and the one to the right is the female right you guys You guys are back outside looking everywhere You guys can go back into your cages, okay? They talk up a storm and the other pair are right behind me and they talk a lot too But let's put these guys in first and then do them. There you go, you guys. Come on. There you go. Come on. There you go, you guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go. You guys know your cage. There you go, big girls. Go back in. There you go. Yeah. And of course, you guys, this is going to just be their temporary cage now this was their permanent cage before and as you can see they could uh fit through the cages but uh that is okay for right now we're gonna fix that because breeding season is not right now it's coming in the next couple months and uh we're gonna have to divide them up because the males will fight up a storm so right now it is okay but um yeah you guys this is like i just said this is not their original cage it was but they are getting a massive aviary coming soon so it's gonna be really really cool you guys to actually see them in a huge outdoor enclosure they could go to the dirt if they want to they can fly around if they want to be able to do whatever they want but um let's go get the next pair so if you guys named it right if you guys said it in the comments right but these right here are a pair of blue front amazons i used to have a pair of one of these before like i said earlier in the video these guys talk about storm hello pretty bird hi yeah okay so let's go put them in their cage because i know they want to sit in this little thing let's go do it you guys let's go come on come on but he's chilling all right he's up that out hanging out all right so let's open this bad boy up and there you go you guys come on come on look this one already knows they're smart little guys there you go you guys come on they're really pretty they're like freaking crazy colors come on missy come on <laughs> come on there you go come on come on come on there you go they're real quiet right now because they don't know really where they're at but in the upcoming videos you guys when you have those post notifications on you're definitely going to be hearing them in the background a lot I'll tell you that much there you go that one's in pretty awesome so my mom is prepping their bowls right now. They get a lot of fruits and vegetables, and then they get a pellet of diet that is from Missouri, like I said earlier, right? Hi. Right. Hello, pretty birds. Look at Lexi in the background. She's like, what the heck is happening? Hello? Hi. Oh, yeah? Oh. I love the noises. They're so, so awesome. 
I love pretty birds. Say Blake's exotic animal ranch. They'll learn how to do that. Look at that one. Just went back to the other side. They're so cool. I love the noise that they make, you guys. Really awesome. But, um, yeah. There they are. There they are. Pretty freaking awesome, you guys. So let's get the bowls, let's get the water, and let's end this video. And look at you. Look at this. We got. Four new additions here on the ranch, and of course it's only growing. And yeah, look at this one—just doing backflips over there. Look at him hanging around everywhere. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> Gotta add a bunch of ropes and toys to them too. Cool. Got two big water bowls for them, so they could take baths if they would like to. Things of that sort. Um, yeah. Hey, pretty birds. Up up? Nope. No up up. Okay. No worries. You don't force any animals to do what they don't want to do just in case. They are obviously just came in here and they are a pair. So most likely you won't be able to hold them that much either. And <laughs> Alright guys, so the two bowls are in there for both pairs of Amazons. Yellow nape Amazons, blue front Amazons, water bowls in both sides, and look at this. Shh. Wayne, my electrician, is over there in the back. His truck is here, everything's here. And you know what that means, you guys. Put those post notifications on because big things are coming. The barn is getting electricity this week. This video is over, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoy parrots. I've been seeing a lot of people in the comments. Look, see, the albino Quaker. Get a hang out right there. Beautiful little girl right there. Everyone is pretty much playful and able to hang on to. Just about not too much. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And I will see you guys later. Peace out, everybody.